the slogan of Northern Wisconsin Outdoor Adventures was really formed not that long after the YouTube channel was created. And it states that success is not measured by the size of the animal, but by the tracks you leave for others to follow. And it has a really clear and simple message. What it means is that the outdoors is not about bringing home the big animal or hanging the big trophy on the wall. What it's really about is spending time with friends and family and having fun in the outdoors, but most importantly, leaving positive legacy for future generations and making sure that they're good sportsmen, good stewards of the landscape, and have a true respect for the outdoors and wildlife. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Nate Francis and welcome back, finally, to another hunt brought to you by Northern Wisconsin Outdoor Adventures. It is September 19th, the second weekend of the Wisconsin bow deer season, and I'm in a familiar stand. You might recall last year on opening day, I sat in this blind. Well this year we have this blind set up again in the same spot and we've been getting a lot of pictures of deer in the evenings making their way into this food plot to browse on the clovers. So we're set up again and we're ready to see some deer. Now for those of you, I know there have been a lot of you wondering where I've been. Haven't been making a lot of videos and I apologize for that. But in December I graduated from college and I just started my first job in uh, January and had not had a lot of time to get videos out. But since it's deer season, you know I'm always going to have a camera with me. And I'm hoping to bring you some great footage this deer season. Stay tuned, stay with me, and I promise I'll get you some deer I can. Hopefully this year, we will finally lay the smack down on a big buck. So stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to see some deer this evening. As good as it felt to get back in the woods during deer season, it felt even better to watch the first deer make its way into view. Though she was a little hesitant, this doe had no idea I was sitting in the brushed out blind just 20 yards away. This year I'll also be taking advantage of my GoPro's wireless technology to bring you guys some pretty amazing shots. Almost like a lawnmower, this doe was mowing down the clovers, moving at her own pace, and slowly making her way to the back end of the food plot. Eventually, she made her way behind a pine tree and escaped my camera's view. This was the only deer I saw in my three hunts up in the north woods, but my hunting adventure was far from over. Well, I didn't see anything out at the oak tree stand this morning. I'm about to leave the north woods right now, but the hunting weekend is not over. I'm going back to town, I'm meeting up with my good buddy Alex, and we're taking a trip out to Kiwani. And he's going to have his Matthews Reason in hand, I'll have the camera. And we're going to see if we can't get a big Kiwani buck on film. And uh, hopefully Alex will be able to make the shot and take it down. He also has a doe tag in his back pocket that he might capitalize on too. So we're going to be heading out there tomorrow. Tonight, of course, I'll have my eyes on the Packers-Seattle game. But tomorrow afternoon, me and Alex will be hitting the woods. So stay tuned. And hopefully I'll have some great footage for you. See you later, folks. So after a quick ride home and a Packer victory, Alex and I hit the woods and the action started right away. So the plan is, we're going to move down into this uh, the mud hole and use the train and try and make it to the finger. It's about 80 yards on the other side of the finger. We got three does. Um, we're walking in through the field and they were standing out there. So we made it to this fence line. So we're going to try and make it to the finger. See if we can't put the stock down on. Keeping the finger of wood between us and the three deer, we slowly inched our way closer and closer, not knowing if any of the deer would even be worth using an arrow on.
As we got close enough to the deer on the other side of the finger of woods, it was easy to tell that none of them would be worth taking. So we waited until they headed into the timber and climbed up in the stand overlooking the field's edge. Not too long into the hunt, five does emerged from the woods and started browsing on the freshly cut alfalfa field. A short while later, the three deer we initially put the stalk on came back into the field to grab another bite to eat. The trio of yearling fawns couldn't make up their mind whether or not they wanted to be in the timber or out in the field, but eventually they made their way close to our stand. Now this is where things got interesting. I had my GoPro positioned directly in front of us at about 25 yards and these three curious deer had to check it out. For a moment the group went their separate ways. One decided to stay a bit longer to investigate the GoPro while the other two made their way along the field's edge. What happened next was truly remarkable and something I had never seen before in the wild. No commentary needed. Check this one out, folks. Well, that was a strange way to end the hunt to say the least, but I was more than happy with the level of deer activity we witnessed that evening. And the amount of does in that area will bring in those big Kiwani County bucks as the rut draws near.